Hey everybody, today is all about how to paint eyes on your jigs and lures. I'm going to show you a method I came up with that's not only simple and easy, but gives professional looking results. So stick around, I'm going to show you just how I do it. Hey everybody, Dave here for the Frugal Sportsman. Thanks so much for tuning in to another one. You know, I wanted to come up with a method in order to be able to paint eyes on my jigs and other lures, but I want them to look professional as well. And you know, using a brush is just too tedious. I make a lot of jigs and lures, and so I wanted to be able to paint them quickly and get them out the door fast. And so I came up with this method I think is really outstanding. I think you're going to like it as well, and that's what today's DIY video is all about. Speaking of DIY videos, if you haven't jumped over and checked out my channel, I'd really encourage you to do that. I've got tons of how-to videos and DIYs that are not only going to help save you money, but are also going to add that extra level of satisfaction while you create your own outdoor gear and add to your outdoor experience. So with that out of the way, let's jump into today's videos and I'm going to show you just how simple it is to do this. All right, let's get started here. <clears throat> now what I do is I powder coat my baits like this and then I bake them in the oven. I've got some going right there. In fact, they're just done right there. So um, what I do after they cool down is the next phase is to get ready to paint the eyes on. So this is what they look like without the eyes. And so I'm going to paint the eyes and I'm going to give them a white base and then a black eye in the middle, black pupil. And I found the, I've tried different ways to hold these and the easiest way that I've found is to put them in a Harbor Freight magnet strip. These, uh, you can get them at Harbor Freight, they're pretty cheap. I think I got these on sale for a couple of dollars or whatever. And so what I do is I just put them on here. Um, all you have to do is just lay them on and they'll stay. I can do, do one side all the way down. I can do two rows. And then I just, just a matter of flipping them over and doing them again. This keeps them up so they don't flip over and, you know, get messed up or anything like that. I can't bump them and it works out really well. So now let me go on and show you what I use to put the eyes on and just how easy it is to do it. Now the paint I use is this vinyl lure and jig finish. Um, and this is really good stuff. My friend Kenny O gave me this. So Kenny, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, he gave me... Um, some white as well. So the white is going to be the base and uh, the black is going to be for the pupils. Now to apply these, what I use is this real thin vinyl hose. This happens to be Weed Whacker fuel line hose. It's a sixteenth of an inch. And this here is about eighth inch. And this again is a um, hose for, I think it was a Weed Whacker. So uh, all I do is I put a little bit in each of the caps and then dip and go. And I'll show you just how quick that works. So once I have the jigs all lined up in the magnetic strip, I put a little bit of paint and I make sure it's thinned down in both the lids, the black and the white. And then I want to use the yellow hose, which is a little bit bigger. I'm going to be dipping it in white and then I just go right down the line. And it comes out. Fairly nice. As you can see, it even does the smaller ones really well. And you can get three or four going on this. Just like that. And I just continue down the line. Then once this dries, I will put the black dots on them. So I found that the key to getting nice round circles on these jigs is to just do it once. Don't try and fix it if you get a little bit messed up. Like this one here is a little bit oblong. And uh, don't worry about that. Fish aren't going to care. Uh, but these are going to be really quick to do. When you're doing hundreds, you don't want to fool around too much with them. 
and as you can see they come out pretty good when you put the black on them they really pop which I'm gonna do as soon as these dry okay now that the uh, white base is dry it's just a matter of using this smaller 1 16th gas line hose and a little bit of paint on there and I can set the pupils in here and as you can see it really does a nice neat job and I just continue along just like that you can take a little closer look, see what they look like. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, and they come out really well. So I'd really encourage you to take time to uh, try this method. I think it'll be really beneficial to you, and uh, I hope it really helps you. Hey, you know those jig heads we just did have some really good-looking eyes on them. I mean, they really make the jigs pop. But the thing of it is, as realistic as they are, they're still blind. They can't see anything. And you know, for us to see things, we need two things. We need uh, eyes and we also need light. You can't see in darkness. I mean, I remember being in a cave one time as a young boy and they turned off all the lights. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. That's because you need the light to illuminate your eyes to the things around you. You know, when you and I begin to pursue our own desires, go after our own ways, and frankly, our own sins, follow after those, we become farther and farther distant from the light, who's God. And therefore, we find ourselves in darkness and totally void of Him in our life. And therefore, for many of us, we find ourselves broken and empty and in despair and prisoners of our own destiny. But you know, it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, God wants it just the opposite. He wants to free you from being the prisoner and captive to sin in your life. He wants to free you to have eyesight, to see Him for who He really is. In fact, it says in Scripture, the Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. And the Lord loves the righteous. You know, the truth of it is that no matter how far you and I find ourselves down a dark road, that God is there with us. That He can pull us back and He can free us from the prisoner of the sin that's held us captive for so long. He can open our eyes to the goodness about Him. In fact, He longs to do that. And why? Well, because He loves you and He loves me. In fact, He loved us so much that He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, to pay the penalty for that sin so that you and I could have a right relationship with Him. You know, if you're not sure how to do that, uh, I'd really encourage you to check out the free book I've written for you. It's in the description below. You just move down below the video and click on it, and uh, you can start reading. It doesn't require any of your email or any other thing to capture. It's yours free because I want you to experience the power of God in your life. I want you to experience how good He is. And when we begin to follow after Him and our eyes are open to the things of God. Again, it's free. I, I've got a bunch of books down there that help you walk with Him daily. And you know, walking with God for me has been the most incredible thing in my life. And I want it to be the most incredible thing in your life as well. So guys, I'd really encourage you to check out the books. Thanks again so much for tuning in to the videos and uh, all your encouraging words and comments. and. You know, I just want you to remember that God loves you more than you could ever know. So until the next time, remember to get outdoors. God bless.